might see a little snow here in the Metroplex. Yeah, maybe a few snowflakes mixing in tonight, but by the time we get to tomorrow morning, it's just going to be about the skies clearing, though it will still be cold. If we do see any snowflakes, though, it is going to be nothing like what they are seeing in Oklahoma and Kansas right now. So the reason that we're seeing the clouds here, a few showers, and then, of course, the snowy weather on satellite and radar up to the north, well, it's because we've got this upper level low quickly moving across the central and southern plains, and it's producing... Uh, the snowfall for Oklahoma City, areas around there, up into Kansas as well. We even have some of that snow out towards Amarillo. Now, for us, our temperature is just a little too warm. And, of course, the upper level low is situated a little farther to the north. So that's where you see the best precipitation ongoing. But Oklahoma City is at 30 degrees. DFW sitting at 41 degrees right now. But it's looked like this pretty much all day. Cloudy skies. We've got the drizzle, rain, temperatures at 41. We've got a calm wind right now, uh, but visibility very poor. Three miles of visibility at the moment. Now, our radar, our local radar, is showing a few showers from McKinney just to the north of Kaufman. You see those showers east of Paris and over Sulphur Springs as well. This is generally very light rain, most of it actually not even making it to the ground. We are still dealing with the cloudy skies though and the rain chances continue into tonight still at about 30 percent in coverage the trick is though the freezing line doesn't arrive until tomorrow morning so as we look at future casts by six o'clock in the evening we've got a few showers around by seven eight o'clock you start to see that changeover a few sleep pellets maybe mixing in closer to Gainesville maybe a few snowflakes as well Sherman we're gonna watch you Bowie Bonham Paris as well but you notice by 10 30 11 o'clock that freezing line still not there. Temperatures are still in the mid-30s for our Red River counties. Once we get to 7 a.m., though, that's when we start to see the upper 20s and low 30s. But at this point, that upper level low is off to the east. We will be clearing out. We're drying out. It's not going to be a huge warm-up for tomorrow, but we're at least going to get into the mid-40s, mid and upper 40s, and we are expecting the sunshine. Good news is we don't have to wait too long for temperatures to jump back to closer to normal. Low 60s for Thursday and Friday, mid-50s on Saturday. We are are going to watch for a few showers late Friday evening. We've got isolated showers possible on Saturday, but we're back into the mid 60s for Monday and Tuesday of next week. And Monday, the winter solstice, not feeling like winter, starting at 38, but warming to 66. It feels a little more like winter right now, Ken. <laughs> yeah, it definitely does. All right, Aaron, thank you. Well, they say you can create art out of anything. One teacher has done just that. What he 